ready. Let's get a okay, we'll it. call the meeting to order. I think we'll start with Dr. Zalas. I just want to make mention, you'll see that each of the Board of Education members have a little gift at their place. Uh, it is National FFA Week, and uh, the officers of FFA did bring some gifts by for you. Uh, this will dovetail into Career Tech Ed Week, which we'll start off with in a second. So if you were at the high school today, you saw the large John Deere parked out front. Yeah, I saw. Yesterday, I think it was the day before the governor drove his John Deere to... Uh, to the Capitol as well. So happy FFA week, and uh, we look forward. They'll do a presentation to us, uh, Mr. Jenkins said, sometime in June when they finish their competition. So, Very good. Great. And we're delighted to have our new back backdrop. backdrop. <laughs> Looks beautiful, yeah. absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful. It's cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll begin tonight with Career and Technical Education Month. Career and Tec Technical Education Month is a public awareness campaign held by the Association of Career and Technical Education each February to celebrate career and technical education in the achievements and accomplishment of the CTE programs across the country. ACTE strives to empower educators to deliver high quality CTE programs that ensure all students are positioned for career success. So Mr. Chapman and Mr. Duncan. No grandbaby, Mr. Duncan, so it's good to see you here. <laughs> so you need to get if here and... If we see you start to bolt, we'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real reason I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, and good evening, and happy Career and Technical Education Month. Uh, each uh, February, it's highlighted, so we're able to recognize that a little bit. So this is a good time. We have the privilege to get to come back. It's not quite as... Uh, data driven as we do in the fall this gives us a chance to kind of give updates and highlights to where you can kind of see where we're at see some of the programs uh, appreciate Gina put us together a, a great video so you can kind of get a feel of what what goes on in our buildings and we can talk just a little bit about our uh, what we've updated but uh, just real quick I know it's a busy night but um, do appreciate this time and appreciate all the support that we're able to do um, a lot of the equipment that comes through that's one thing this year we feel real good about um, just talking about the equipment and the programs um, we've uh, feel like those have really uh, been put in place and all the programs are in good place in a good shape we have put um, put a lot of the uh, uh, labs back up in, in shape to where they need to be the uh, uh, programs continue to align with our high quality career and technical education indicators that DESI puts together and so we uh, use that professional development to uh, to make sure those programs are accountable. They also are accredited by a lot of the accreditations you saw this fall. But did you have a couple of the pictures? Yeah. Were a couple of things. The, the pictures, yeah. Okay. Which, where do you want first? It doesn't matter. I can. Dr. Put, there, you want to get the light. Uh, this, this is uh, one of the pictures. Uh, Monday, we were able to, to uh, do a signing. Uh, this is our registered apprenticeship. That. That that. Cool. This is uh, uh, a program that we've started, and we were able to register this in carpentry. Uh, we have our uh, the vice president for Alexander Construction is Sammy Auksher, and uh, we've got our instructor Robert Robinson. Mr. Smith's with us, and that's a student from Rolla, Kyle Williams, and his father came over. So we do a signing similar to uh, a signing you see when a student goes on to a college and so uh, with an athletic scholarship of, or an academic scholarship. That was so, great. Yeah. Okay. So it was really good. Uh, the apprenticeship is a, is a is set up as a as the term implies but there's about 8,000 hours that goes into it. Every uh, couple thousand hours it advances to a new term and that allows for uh, an increase in wage. Uh, the registered apprenticeships also allows our students that are juniors to possibly get into the work because that was one of the things that's been hindering a lot of uh, younger students getting in because they can't do much for safety. So if you're a reg if you work under a registered apprenticeship, there is a clause there that helps them allow that employer to do a little bit more with them. Um, and it shows what they could make at the end. So Mr. Alexander or Mr. Oxer was good. We we set the journeyman's wage at twenty four dollars an hour and he felt strongly enough that we start at half, and then every term he advances up. So he started at twelve fifty an hour, and is hopefully going to be up to the twenty four dollars an hour when he's done. So, That's great. Yeah. yeah. And then we had another. Is there another yeah. picture, Myra? This 
This was a group that we did uh, our first career uh, and technical education professional development that we reached out. There was an uh, opportunity with, uh, with DESE, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, to write a grant, uh, and we expanded to all of our sending schools. And we've, we had six sending schools participate, as well as with RALA. And we really appreciate that we, we pulled a team of teachers from the middle school, the high school, and the junior high. And uh, Dr. Pritchett, Dr. Fulton, Dr. Davis were great to, to help set that up. And we had, the weather was, as you know, Friday was a little iffy. We had a couple that didn't come. Steelville canceled, so the Steelville uh, people didn't make it. But I think we had uh, 30 come. We had 32 signed up. But those that didn't make it say they're, they're going to catch back up. And we've even had a few from other schools that heard about it that are asking if they could come to finish up. But it's a three-day event, and it's mainly to get them in to understand and what it takes for these students to be successful. Uh, we, we push career readiness, the college and career readiness with DESE. We feel like it, the career readiness is what we strive for. College is one avenue to get there. We, uh, we enhance that. We, we push students to do that, but we also try to get them there if they come in for one year or less just to get them competent with skills so that they can be a contributing member of society. Um, that's... That's pretty much it. We've got a, I've got a video. Does anybody have any questions about anything this year? Mr. Duncan, I've got a couple, or really it's one, but um, are, I know we've discussed other internships and there was some communications happening. I don't remember the details. Can you share with us if there's ongoing discussions of other internship partnership arrangements? We, we do internships in most all of our programs yep. as far as students whenever they master the competencies if they're a senior in high school the last part of that year we can intern them out um, in relation to the apprenticeship is a little bit different because not all the students will will do the actual apprenticeship i meant apprenticeship okay You're, yeah i didn't yeah. Know, yes so so the apprenticeship is is probably going to be much it takes a special student to do that because they will be uh working in the summer they'll be working uh in the evenings and they it's a it's a it's a little, it's basically an advanced internship. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's opportunities to do. Uh, you hear that a lot from the state and federal level about the apprenticeships. And so there's a lot more that are developed. There's a stack of <coughs> occupational codes that you could about do an apprenticeship with most any occupation. So. And we have those available when we have the right student in the right situation. Yep, yep. well, we're wrong. just we're just getting going. I think uh, we were at in Jeff City last week, and I believe Missouri has 72 uh, students enrolled in apprenticeship programs right now, and it's only been going three years, so it's starting to. That's start exciting. To I yeah, think it's a you bet. And, and Tony, we got the new one. Uh, we've got one working with Mrs. Zervos in communications, mm -hmm. and we also with the Phelps County Focus have a journalism. So it goes outside of CTE as well. We're looking right. for more opportunities to to engage our kids outside of their normal classes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you. And we, again, <clears throat> continue to appreciate the support of the board and central office. We, it's it's been, a, been a great year, and, again, we appreciate all the support. But I'll let Mr. Chapman speak a little bit and show you the video. Yeah, and I, I, had, I met with somebody today, a local business owner, that uh, is looking to do an apprenticeship. It's all our thing from Monday. And uh, they're a graduate of ours, and they're really interested in doing one of those in, in heating and air. So uh, I think we'll get that one going great, pretty great. quick. And so we interned several of them. Uh, thank you for, for allowing us to be here and talk about Career Tech Head of Month. Two quick things, big hitters from today is we had our second annual Masonry Madness. Uh, talk about a really neat event uh, where our students uh, build mason walls today and in, uh, in about four hours. And uh, we, uh, Rolla won the secondary and post-secondary part of that today, so I'm excited <laughs> to tell you about it. But the really cool thing is we bring those people in. There's more than seven employers in there, contractors today. Uh, and then we had three unions there. We had the Labor's Union. Uh, we had somebody from the Carpenter Union. We had the uh, Mason's Union there today. And they were all watching to see which students and talking with those students and interacting. Uh, I got in on the conversation with one in a Labor's Union out of Rolla here and, and really talking about where he can go and I think getting him signed up. But, Bringing those employers and contractors in and actually showing that real-life work uh, uh, 
is, is really exciting. And that was going on today. That and then HVAC contest we had today too. But we'll have those in the next month or so. But Mason Madness was really cool. Over here at RTC, we're doing that on uh, uh, March 20th. We've got a job fair coming in. And we have about 20 employers coming over to try to, to, try to employ, our, employ our students. Uh, because people need good employees. So yeah. They can come over here and get the chance to cherry pick out the best, especially during that time. It's good stuff. And then we got a video that Jeannie was good enough to show. I'll put together.